Welcome to the Hit New Game Show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So, answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play Tis the Season? Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. <laughs> All right, welcome okay, everyone. So why don't we take the time to introduce our team? Let's start over here. We have Mr. Barton with Madison. And your team name is Chalky Milk. Santa loves that Chalky Milk. And over here we have the Mary Lou Conrad. Who do we have over there? This is all right, let's get this game started, shall we? We will have 12 questions, and as we work through, we are starting with, as you can see, the wonderful theme here. Your first question is, 12 drummers drumming. If the mascot of the San Jose Sharks wanted to mirror the feud in West Side Story, what team out would uh, taunt with vicious finger snaps? So what team is going to taunt them? The Houston Rockets, the LA Clippers, the Indiana Pacers, or the New York Jets? Yeah, you got it. What? Uh, New York Jets. The New York Jets is correct. They're 300 points to get it. You know it. Is. Get in there as quick as possible. Next question. 11 Pipers Piping. One of my favorite Denny's menu items is a moons over my phone. Knowing this, how long was Neil Armstrong's historic walk on the moon? As long as the Twilight movie New Moon. As long as Moon Knight 12 hour night shift at the Ephraim ER, as long as Michael Jackson's Moonwalk song Billie Jean, or as long as it would take for someone to moon someone out their car window. Yes? yes? We're going to go with as long as Michael Jackson's Moonwalk song Billie Jean. That is incorrect. Oh! Ben. They're throwing it. The correct answer is as long as the twilight moves. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, ten more to leave. Me. Next question. I like sushi. However, I'd like it more if it was a bit warmer. That said, how many snuggies would a giant squid need in order to accommodate all its appendages? Four snuggies, five snuggies, eight snuggies, or ten snuggies? Yes. Uh, eight. Eight snuggies is incorrect. Oh, minus three hundred. Zero. You have five. Yes? We're going to go with four Snuggies. That is incorrect. The oh! answer is five Snuggies. Five Snuggies. Yeah. Next question. Nine ladies dancing. This is ordering the court. Put these things in chronological order based on when they first appeared. The St. Louis Arch, the McDonald's Golden Arches, and Archie Comics. So, which way are we going? There are your choices. St. Louis, McDonald's, Archie. Archie, McDonald's, St. Louis. McDonald's, St. Louis, Archie. Archie, St. Louis, McDonald's. You have 10. <laughs> Time, the correct answer is Archie, McDonald's, and then St. Louis. All right, next question. Eight maids of milking. Which protest sign would you see Don Quixote carrying at an anti-environmental rally? And yes, he'd be wearing a mask. Thermal energy leaves me cold. Waves so long to tidal power. Solar panels aren't very bright. Or wind turbines blow. <laughs> we have five. Time. <laughs> the correct answer is wind turbines blow. Come on, the windmills. 
Yeah. All right, I got that. All right, all right. Seven swans swimming. Suppose the old American Idol announcer Randy Jackson judged an Iditarod competition. If we were judging a team with the maximum allowed number of dogs, what would he say? Yo, your six dogs are killer. Your 12 dogs were hot tonight. Listen, your 16 dogs were dope. Or check it, your eight dogs nailed it. <laughs> yes. That is it. Oh, oh, All right, I guess it's four or five. <laughs> Last time we break entry, there were sixteen oh, dogs, and I did right. Sixteen. Six geese to lay in. Absolutely love time travel movies, but. Almost every time travel movie results in the traveler arriving naked. Which time travel method is the best if I don't want to be seen naked? Time Cop, 12 Monkeys, The Terminator, or The Time Traveler's Wife? Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, the correct answer is Time Cop is the only one time travel where you are fully clothed. So, all right, we are up to our first special question is five golden rings. And this is a this or that question. All right, and here are the rules for these. I will give you a clue. You will need to decide with your team which category it belongs to. Your choices are for this one. Is it a McDonald's slogan or a song by Barry White? Oh All right, is it a McDonald's slogan or is this a song by Barry White? Those are your only two choices. McDonald's or Barry White? McDonald's or Barry White? Are we ready? Just snap, go right in. If you know it, just scream it out. Ready? Set? What you want is what you get. That is incorrect. Next one. Every time a good time. All right, I heard Barry White there first. It's minus 300. Next one. I'm qualified to satisfy you. That is correct. We have 300 points. Barry White. All right, next one. Put a smile on. That is correct for 300. I've got so much to give. That is correct for 300 points. I'm loving it. I heard over there first. McDonald's. Never, never. Barry White is correct over there. 300 points for their team. They're closer. They are closer. But four calling birds is the next one. Let's say Tipper Gore treats her husband Al Gore to a $50 steak dinner. Now, if Tipper Gore is a good tipper, what is the smallest amount she should leave as a tip? $50. 5, 7.5, 8.75, or 10? 5. 5. The correct answer is sorry, that is not right. Ooh, not right. Minus 300. Okay, 750. 750 is correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That awesome. is correct for 300 points. Oh, Three French hands. Lately, I've been watching The Crown, noting my new fluency in the Queen's English. And what activity would the Queen's English do the most good? Giving shots, shooting pool, chewing tobacco, or playing cards? Your 10. <laughs> yes. Uh, playing cards. Playing cards is incorrect. <laughs> Minus 300. The correct answer is shooting pool, putting English on the ball as it goes. Yes. Two turtle doves. Suppose John and Kate Gossip from John and Kate Plus 8 had eight gossips instead of children. In keeping with the mating habits of geese, how long should John and Kate stay together? One mating season for life, or for a few days, or until their acting careers take off? For life. For life is correct for 300 points. We are down to our last and final question. Our last and final question, a partridge and a pear tree. Are we ready? I will give you a clue and a board covered with the answer. So everything that you see is an answer. Some of them are not the right answer. Okay, so this is like 
the question five, but the, all the answers are up there. All right? I will say a word or phrase to trigger you as your thought as you go through this. Are we ready? Your clue. You have a nice scalp, so stop hiding it. You have a nice scalp, so stop hiding it. That is your clue. You have a nice scalp, so stop hiding it. Those are all the possible answers. Are you ready? Uncle Sam. Full cap. That is incorrect. Top okay. Top has 300. Ooh. Baby Huey. That is incorrect. Ooh. Minus 300. The correct answer is Bonnet, Conspiracy Theorist. Well, that is correct for 300. Packers fan. Jesus. That is correct for 300 points. Your 70 Sam. Like that. that is incorrect. That is incorrect. The correct answer is 10 gallon hat. Axel Rose. Bandana. Bandana is correct for 300. Ali G. The correct answer is Yellow Beanie. Let's add up our points and see what we have. <laughs> the correct answer is. 300 is Santa loves the chalky milk. However, how much money did we raise over here? We have $120. $120 as opposed to their team, which has $100, which means even though they do move on to the next round, this team is getting the donut party. So Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Ephrata. Each team leaves with the warm feeling of helping local Ephrata families this holiday season, and I have no doubt will continue their fundraising throughout the holidays. If you're watching online and would like to help, here are more details.